10 years ago, they met for the first time. It was for a national title. Now UConn and Butler ready to clash on a regular basis as Big East rivals after missing five with a sprained knee. So the Huskies, again, came from 18 down in the second half to beat Marquette to go along. Huskies here in the dark colors. Inside, Bryce Golden trying to get something done. And this UConn team so physical at times. How will they operate, Chris, without their scoring star? It's Whaley who gets the first bucket. And can push the basketball where they don't have to score against the teeth of that UConn defense. Transition is their best bet. On the inside, opening nice there for Tyrese Martin to the team before the shutdown. Yeah, that's tough. You come back and they've been on pause a few times. How about that one, Jason? Well, He's Tyler Polly <laughs> picking up where he left off. Last foul before the media timeout was the second on R.J. Cole, so he's out. Jalen Gaffney, the sophomore from Columbus, New Jersey, in. And Whaley gets it to go with the left hand. Take very quickly, so athletic, Kobe. They cover so much space. Sunogo got the seal, gets the finish, too. Chuck Harris, team high, 18 points, four threes in the last win against Georgetown. Nice extra effort. There's the offensive rebound paying dividends. I think we got to think about on offense for UConn. What Book Knight is great is creating his own shot. Who's going to be that player for UConn? Polly keeps up. There we go. <laughs> and rolled it along. Right on cue. Another three for Polly. Again, five in the last game, and that 23 point detonation of the second half. And delivers his second here in the first 10 minutes and change. And now Carlton, the theft. In the jam. Known as really a three-point shooter. He wants to drive the basketball, stay in the stands, corral him, and keep him in front of you. And, 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 oh my God, I, can't, I couldn't even get my words out, Jason. Get their three-point shooters open. Man. Force them to make plays off the bounce. Not what they do best. Martin will try it from range. And good. Tyrese Martin withstanding that flurry from Polly and the Huskies to make it a four-point game with about four minutes left to go in the half. Polly again. I was going to say again. no way. Jay, I was going to say no way. <laughs> that place. This Husker group, seven better than Butler right now, late first half. Gaffney, kick out, Adams wants three, and he'll join the triple party against Marquette earlier this week. Whaley. Gets good position and the roll. Gretsch before that second half breakout against Marquette, which continues here against Butler. Inside Sonogo, the fake and one. Coach's nightmare, you have the advantage at the free throw line. Don't want to give those easy ones up. Sonogo can't get the roll. Martin kept it alive with the tap, and Cole cashes in the nine-point hole. You're talking about it defensive team with athletes and shot blockers and shot changers. And Mr. Cole finally. Kelly with those four first half threes. Had a touch, gave it up. Jumper for Whaley, no. Mark with the second effort. Holden. Holly all over him on the out of bounds play. Now chaos for Butler and Golden was on the sideline when he touched it. And the interesting part, Coach Jordan talking about the growth of his freshman while Thompson was back out. Martin hoisting a three and sticks it. Adams step through. Yes, pretty stuff. Double there on Tate. Seven of the shot clock. Thompson with a mid range. The shots that UConn are giving them, like those circus shots, I'm sure he could make those in the game of horse, but it's tough when you're playing out here against the UConn Huskies. And Mr. Martin, athleticism. Continue to say this UConn team, from a physicality standpoint, started to look the part of the team for all. Big time drive and one for Jalen Gaffney. Gaffney's just a steady hand coming off. See, Mr. Adams him just right here, just driving hard. Dyer Bolden's there late. It's just sometimes you just got to make a play. See Golden there try to help and trying to get back to his man. And a tremendous job of recruiting back in the day, and that's what they're doing now. Big time players makes a big time program. How about Cole? My lips. Foul there on Tate. 
his second. Nice move. And the dive to the lane for Daphne. Golden has it lip out from deep. See how they guard it differently there. Now they trap him. They force him to throw it to Golden, who's really not a three-point shooter. He can't make it. But on the other end, mm -mm -mm. number 52, Jair Bow, they're not going to give him an ounce of daylight. There <laughs> is the steal with Bailey. And the viewpoint's aggressiveness. NC, entry for Golden. Working on Will. Turns blocked. Swatted out by Whalen. Guy averages over two blocks per game, gets his second, leads this team. And the defense holding strong for the Huskies as they try to salt this one away. Today, the next game for the Huskies is Monday. At hey, the Thompson and another rejection for Whaley. Zest, whatever comes in, he is throwing it the other way. Look at that timing. Give me that. Trying to fill the gap. Book Knight leading score goes out today. The junior Adams start. Potties comes off the bench, senior. And again, delivering time after time. Kudos to Coach Hurley. Big time win. Coach George, nothing to be ashamed about. They came back and got a big time win. It's Georgetown. They just have to put it together, get a little bit more practice time, get Thompson more healthy, and get back to the drawing board. No Big East leading score. No problem for Dan Hurley and the UConn Huskies.